It is my honor to share with you a traditional Philippine folk dance, Karatong and Subli. This dance was performed by the Adamson University Dance Troupe a few years before the pandemic. Karatong is named after the bamboo instrument worn by the male dancers around their waist. The karatong is struck to a fast rhythm in the hopes of attracting good luck and driving away evil spirits. The female dancers dance with sticks that are representative of the bunga manga or the mango flowers. Subli is a portmanteau of the Tagalog words subsu, meaning stooped, and bali, meaning broken, referring to the posture adopted by the dancers. It is a prayer dance. The women's costume includes a straw hat adorned with ribbons, which are waved about, removed, tipped in salute to the cross of Alitagtag, or used to make other graceful gestures. and is danced during town fiestas. It is performed by a couple on a narrow bench, inching and hopping from one end to another. The dancers show skill in staying up as they exchange places by moving their way around and complementing each other so that 
no one falls off. It is my honor to share with you a traditional Philippine folk dance, the Tinikli. This was performed by the Adamson University Dance Troupe a few years before the pandemic. Tinikli. Originally from the province of Leyte, Tinikli is considered as the Philippine national dance. Its steps are based off the movements of the long-legged tickling bird dodging bamboo traps set by farmers. Performers dance through bamboo poles that open and close to an exhilarating rhythm.